Hi, hello and welcome to our channel, Scratch Coding for Kids. This is Vida from Toronto. I'm going to guide you to learn Scratch Coding. This is especially for kids, but anyone can learn. Okay, today, this is the tutorial two. We are going to focus on stage area in the Scratch, the, all the options available in the stage area. Okay, let's go to the agenda and see what we are going to do. First of all, the prerequisite for this tutorial too is you had to go through my first tutorial where I gave an introduction to the Scratch. So there you will learn how to download the Scratch or how to go to the online Scratch, how to create an account, how to log into the Scratch and basic uh, idea about Scratch and overview of the Scratch. So if you have that, then if you have that knowledge, then you can directly come to this tutorial too. Okay, first one. Let's see what we are going to see, okay? Uh, this is the scratch screen. Okay, before that, let me go to the actual scratch screen. So I will sign out and I'll go to the screen. Okay, so when you log into this online scratch, which is scratch.mit.edu, you will get this screen. In this screen, there's an option for sign in. So I, I assume you already joined the Scratch, okay? You already created an account. So go to sign in and give me a username and password and sign in. Once you sign in, you will get to this screen. Here, there's a menu bar. In the menu bar, you will see an option, create. If you click on create, you will go to this screen of the Scratch. Here, there are three main areas in Scratch. The left hand side is block palette. The center one is coding area. Right hand side is stage area. So today we are going to focus on this stage area. Okay, so let's go into the stage area. So if you go to the stage area, there are two main elements in the stage area. One is called backdrop. Like what you see in the background, the white color one is called backdrop. This backdrop is by default white color screen. Other one is sprite. Sprite is the little, this cat guy. So by default, you will get this cat picture as a sprite. Now I selected sprite. So all the options available for the sprite is available. If you want to go to the backdrop, you have to click here in the right hand side. There is a square. Click there. Then all the option activated for the backdrop. So it's very important when you are writing code, you have to make sure which one you selected because that code will apply to the uh, object which you selected. So if, like see there are options changes, like if you click on Sprite, see in the, in the palette area, you will see this middle tab changes as costumes. But if I click on the backdrop, this middle one changes as backdrops. So depends on your selection, the options also changes. So first of all, you have to make sure which, ob which object you are going to work on. Okay, so now today, first we will see the backdrop. So I click on backdrop and make sure. So in the backdrop, um, you have few options. Okay. So by default, you have the white color backdrop. Now I want to change my backdrop. I don't want this white color one. So if you want to change it, go here. The same thing, you can go here or in the backdrop tab, you can go here. Both are same. So I click on here. When I go here, the mouse over, you don't need to click it. When you do mouse over, you will see four options. So one option, first option is choose a backdrop from the scratch library. Second option is you can create your own backdrop from the paint in the scratch. Third one is a surprise backdrop. Fourth one, you can upload a backdrop from your computer. Let's see the first one. Choose a backdrop from the scratch library. So I'm going to click on this magnifying glass. When I click on it, you will take you will be taken to the screen like this. There are so many backdrops available. You can choose any of the backdrop you like. If you want to see by category, you can go and see. Like if you want something, some backdrop related to the music, you can click here. Um, if you want to uh, choose something for the 
sports then you can click on this one so it depends on which category backdrop you want or you can search if you know the name of the uh, backdrop for an example uh, basketball one you click on basket we'll see all the basketball related backdrops will come so like that you can either search it or you can go by category and do it or you can just click on all and use the scroll bar to get the right backdrop now i will click one of the backdrop like okay we'll see a beach beach area so i'll click on that so you got the backdrop now earlier it was a white color screen now it's changed to a beach side now this is the first way you can change the backdrop now we will see the second one second one is the paint if you click on the paint you see this area changes okay so in this area you can create your own backdrop like like you use the microsoft paint you might have experience with so same like that so you can create your own backdrop like you can draw something like for an example i want you to draw a tree i want a backdrop like a tree this I'm not a good artist, just I'm drawing something. But you can draw a tree. Or if you don't want this, you can erase it. And then you can draw some shapes. Like for an example, I want to have a circle. I can do it. And if you want to fill this circle with different color, this fill color, you can go here and change the color. The color will change. But you have to make sure you selected that circle. Like for an example, if it is like this, it doesn't change. So you have to make sure that you selected this one. After that only, you can go and change the color. Okay. <clears throat> now you know how to change the color. Use the, oh, if you want square, you can use a square. Okay, and change the color for the square. And you go here and change some other colors. So you can use the paint brush. You know how to use the uh, eraser to fill and using different shapes. Also, you can write something on the backdrop. By click on this key, key letter, you can type like, I will say test demo. And you can change the color to, I'll make a more dark color, okay? Do it like that. Also, um, ah, you can do the undo. It's basically like your own Microsoft Paint, right? And you can group the um, objects. Like I, I have, there are three objects here, right? So if you want to group this one, you can select the area like this. So all the objects got selected. Now I can click on group. Now it got grouped. Then if you want to ungroup it, you click on here to ungroup. Okay, so you can go through all the options and see what, what is available, right? Now I will select only one. Now you can change the colors, the outline color, everything. So this is how you can create your own backdrop. You can spend more time and you can create really nice backdrops. Uh, this is, I just, for the demo purpose, I did it like this, but you can uh, draw and make a really nice backdrops. So this is a one way to change the backdrop. And you can give a name to this backdrop, okay, here. You can give a name, my own backdrop. So any name you can give whatever you, you like, okay? Okay, now we know two options. One is taking a backdrop from the scratch library. Other one is using paint to create your own backdrop. Third one is a surprise backdrop. So what does it mean by surprise is if you click here, scratch will give you some backdrop like it can be anything you don't know it's a surprise for you so just click on it see you got this backdrop if you click again you will get another backdrop okay so there are surprise backdrops then the last option is uploading a backdrop from your computer so if you click on here you will be taken to your computer drive where, where whichever folder you are there or you can change the folder so in your computer you can browse it you can go to desktop you can go to photos, whatever you like. Mm. So from there, I am going to take a picture like this, success. So I click on open it. 
So now, now I got the backdrop like this. Any picture, you can save any picture, you can draw it and save it or you can do anything. You save it and you can take it from your computer. So these are the four options to change the backdrop. So to change the backdrop, you can take it from the library. You can create your own backdrop in the paint or you can get a surprise backdrop or you can upload from your computer. Right. Now let's see what are the things we covered, what are the topics we covered already. Okay, we covered what are the main three main areas in the spread, what is stage area, what are the two main elements in the stage area, what is backdrop and how to change the backdrop and each option how we change, how to choose a backdrop from the stretch library, how to create your own backdrop from the paint, how to get the surprise backdrop, how to upload a backdrop from your computer picture gallery. Now we have to see how to switch between the different backdrops and how to delete the existing backdrop. Now if you see, we select, we did so many things and we created around six backdrops, okay. See the first one was the default one, we got it, just a white color screen. Second one we choose from, we have chosen from the scratch library. Third one, we created our own backdrop. Fourth one, and fifth one was a surprise backdrop we got it and the sixth one is the one we uploaded from our computer so you can switch like this like by selecting here here now th this backdrop is activated okay if you change this one then that backdrop is activated so whatever code you are writing you are writing to this backdrop right then you don't want one of this backdrop okay i don't want the default one which is just a blank white color screen so just how to delete, you have to go to this uh, recycle bin or the bin, you can click here <clears throat> and it will get deleted. So whatever you want, you can delete. it. Okay, That's how you can switch between backdrops and you can delete it. And what is the other topic we had? Okay, then we had to learn about the stage area. To learn the stage area, I will select a backdrop like this. This is the most suitable, easy to learn. There's a backdrop called XY Green. It's almost in the last one, like in the very bottom, one before last. Okay, now this backdrop is changed to this one. Here, you can see this area of the backdrop. This is by, it's showing by X-axis and the Y-axis. In the X-axis, you can go up to plus 240 in the right side. And you can move this cut behind to minus 240. In the y-axis, you can move this cat up to the plus 180 and you can move this cat down to minus 180. Let's see how this changes. I select the sprite. Now we, I am the backdrop, right? So if I want to change this one, I have to select sprite. Now his uh, position is 2 by 4, like x-axis 2 and y-axis 4. Now I move him here. Now it has been changed x-axis he is in 149 somewhere here and y-axis he is in 117 so somewhere here the center part of the picture is there now i want to go down and back then you have to move that guy here then you will see it's minus 154 and minus 93 y-axis is minus 93 and um, sorry x-axis is minus 93 y-axis is um, minus sorry sorry i'm sorry x axis is minus 154 and y axis is minus 93 that's all but actually you don't need to move like this when you are writing code through the code you will move it okay so <clears throat> here the go to x y so if you take this particular code you can give the x and y position here by giving that you will move this guy so that's how the area of the stage and how you will move the sprite in the stage area. So that's all for today's lesson. This is a tutorial 2. In the next tutorial, tutorial 3, I will teach you guys how to change a sprite. We can play around with sprite, whatever we can do it. Okay. Oh, one more thing I have to tell you in the stage area. If you want to get a full screen of this stage, like now you are with all other one, coding area, block palette and all those things, you can click on this button, you will get the full screen. 
then you click on this again the same button you will go back to your previous screen and this stage area is um, like little big here but when you are writing the code you don't want this stage area this big you want more area for your code then you click here so you will get more area for your code and this stage become little area then if you click back again here then you will get back to the normal stage area so by default your screen will look like this then you can change according to your wish okay that's all for today's lesson uh, now i'm going to give you a homework so for today's homework all the kids have to create a scratch account if you already created no problem you can log into the scratch if you don't have an account please create an account so to how to create the account you have to go to my first tutorial here in this link you can learn how to create an account and how to log in after logging to the scratch select different backdrop from library so whatever i uh, i taught you today just practice it then create your own backdrop do it nicely not like me you can draw a nice picture in the paint and you can do it or you can pay, use the ms paint and save it and you can upload from your computer too so this is your homework so guys that's all for today see you in another video uh, the mainly the tutorial 3 and if you like it please subscribe this channel this is the um, scratch coding for kids is this channel please subscribe this channel uh, see you in another video bye for now bye bye